Alrighty guys, welcome back. It's Bad Seed here, and I can finally sit down and actually talk to you guys about the Black Ops 3 teaser trailer that was uh, released a little bit over 24 hours ago now. So, and it caused a lot of discussion on Twitter and YouTube. I was on there a little bit yesterday, checked out a few videos, uh, had a few chat with a few guys on Twitter about it. And um, yeah, the biggest discussion or talking point was not so much the actual trailer itself. Uh, actually, there was two talking points. That uh, they were that something was revealed a little bit earlier this year than than previous years by about a month or two earlier, and the other biggest talking point was basically, basically come down to the soldier that was shown on the like at once like the trailer itself was just a bunch of numbers flying around. There was a guy talking over the top, and the numbers morphed into this cyborg-looking soldier sitting sitting down, and immediately people panicked a little bit because I know a lot of the community wanted a uh, a more traditional, maybe like a World War sort of style, go back to that sort of era. But uh, since the guy looks like a cyborg with metal arms and, and you know that kind of thing, um, they were a bit worried that it might be, you know, there might be exosuits in the game, or there might be, uh, it might be too futuristic. Which I can understand. I mean, like, I mean, to me, the exosuits were fine. I love the exosuits. It was a nice, nice change up to the previous Call of Duties, uh, and I think a lot of people like the idea at the beginning that they heard of some sort of boost jumping and quicker movement some sort of dynamic like that but once once the actually once the exosuit hit uh, I, I think a lot of people you know didn't kind of like the idea so but uh, I mean a lot of people did I mean, don't get me wrong hundreds of thousands did but there, there might have been you know a good percentage of people that didn't like it so and they're the more vocal ones that you hear on YouTube the more vocal ones you hear on Twitter you know, giving the uh, the developers a hard time and stuff like that. So, but like I said, I didn't mind the exosuits. If it, and from what I hear, that they're, they're not going to be in Black Ops 3 anyway. Um, I was listening to one of Thunder's videos, and he said that he said himself that he has a reliable source that says that there is going to be some sort of boost jumping or some sort of boost dynamic, uh, more like the wall running of uh, Titanfall is going to be incorporated into it. So the exosuits themselves are not going to be in the game. So that um, look, look, that's fine by me too. I, you know, I'm all for change. I mean, I think a lot of people didn't want that much change when Advanced Warfare came out. I mean, there were there were probably more of a hope, hoping for a more of a boots to the ground sort of style game. Uh, so, which is understandable. I mean, that's what uh, you know. If they if they can go back to more of the classic COD in this Black Ops 3, uh, I'd be happy with that. So. And I, you know, I hope they they keep the weapons balanced. You know, we don't want to see any overpowered, super fast, um, quick scoping and shotguns and you know, stupid stuff that ruin the game. Because that, that kind of stuff does ruin the game. Let's face it, Black Ops 2 was, you know, it was great for months, and then all of a sudden, with the snipers and the shotguns and the C4s, it just turned into a, a mess. So, uh, you know, I very rarely go back to that game now. And I love the sound of this. I'm using the OHM or the Ohm LMG. It's uh, I got it in a care package, uh, the Elite version. And I, I love using LMGs. I love the clip sizes on them. I think they're pretty cool. So yeah. So um, yeah. So let's see what happens on Black Ops 3. Let's see what comes out. Um, you know, I'm looking forward uh, to the campaign. I'm look, look, looking forward to the multiplayer, obviously. I don't really care too much on zombies and stuff like that. But if that's in the game, fair enough. I, I'd love to. I love for them to actually bring back some spec ops, like a spec ops that were used to be in uh, Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, and, and nice, cool kill streaks. I want to see good kill streaks. Uh, look, Black Ops 2 style kill streaks would be nice. Something that's nice and fun to use. The last two games have had some fairly disappointing ones. There's some good ones in there. Don't don't get me wrong. But yeah, just want to bring that, bring back that big fun factor we used to have. Uh, back out when, um, you know, MW3, MW2, you know, Black Ops 2, when it first came out, there's a lot of fun. The streaks themselves in, in all those games were fantastic, so... And we just lost that game 74 to 75. If I just killed that guy, it would have been the other way around, we would have won. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. I had a pretty good game. There's a kill cam at the end there, some dude. And, um, and I did pick up a... As you saw, I did pick up the daily challenge and picked up a supply drop. I just wanted to show you guys what I got in it. Um, so let's open it up now. I, from, what I, from what I remember, it wasn't anything great. I think it was a yeah, IML lightweight and a... Um, what's that? A uh, Oh yeah, some sort of rapid 
rapid supply perk or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but anyway, that's it, guys. That's the uh, that's the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And let me know what you thought. Let me what you know what you thought about the Black Ops 3 trailer. And, uh, yeah, like I said, the biggest discussion was just the soldier on the front. Okay, thank you.